Welcome back to part three of We Are Building a House. My family and I are super excited to be building what really is going to be our dream home right now. And I am documenting that and giving you some real life experience of how that is going for us. So if you haven't watched part one and part two, I suggest you do so. In this video, I'm gonna to talk to you about locking in our interest rate. So stick around. Hey everyone, my name is Danae Hewitt and I am your go-to DFW Realtor with Brico Realty Services. If this is your first time to my channel, welcome. And if this is not your first time, then thank you for joining me again. So in this series, I'm talking to you about how we are building our house in Midlothian, Texas. And if you haven't watched the other two videos, I talked to you about the entire process. I didn't mention the name of the builder because again, I'm trying to keep that um, private for now. Everything is going really great with them. We're very happy with them. But if something changes down the line, I don't really want to blast them. <laughs> if you want to know who our builder is, then please send me an email. I've actually gotten a couple of emails from those viewers asking who the builder is and a little bit about how that process is going. So if that's you, my contact information is in the description below. Ask me any questions and I will definitely let you know. In the first two videos, I talked to you about why we decided to build and what a dirt build is looking like because literally we bought a piece of dirt and eventually there will be a house on it. In this week's video, I'm gonna to talk to you about locking in our interest rate and why it's really important that we're timing that correctly. Let me explain a little bit about what a rate lock is. Once you lock in that rate, that means that that is the rate you're going to purchase the house at. It can't go any higher. And in a 30 day escrow, I don't know if it can go a little lower. I don't think so. But again, I'm not a lender. So talk to your lender about that. But that means once you've locked in your rate for a certain, for a lengthy period of time, that's the highest that your interest rate will be. The nice thing is that when you do an extended rate lock, at least with this preferred lender that we are using with the builder, 30 days before the house is going to be done, if rates drop down lower than where we are locked in at, we get one float down. Whew, so we're hoping that that happens. <laughs> Whenever we close on this house, we hope that within that 30 days, the interest rates will just come down and we can float our rate down a little bit. So that is what a rate lock is. Now let me talk to you about the timing and why that's really important. If you are buying a traditional resale property and that escrow is gonna be 30 days, your lender is going to lock in that rate for you as soon as they get that executed contract. And that executed contract is signed by both the buyers and the sellers. That contract needs to get to your lender the day that you sign it so that they can lock in your interest rate. And that rate is going to be good for 30 days. And maybe it's a little buff, maybe they put a little bit of a buffer in there if closing is 45 days or something, I'm not 100% sure, but that interest rate is going to be locked for you. But locking in your rate looks really different when you're buying a new construction home. If you're buying a spec home, then that home is already specced out by the builder. They know exactly what floor plan's gonna go on that lot, and they know all of the materials that are going to be inside, but the home is just not done yet. And then a dirt build is you're buying a piece of dirt and you are determining absolutely every single thing that is going to go on that piece of property in terms of how big your house is going to be. And then of course, all the materials that are gonna be on the outside and the inside of the house. Spec builds don't take nearly as long as a dirt build because the spec house has already been through the permitting process and it may have already have the foundation on it. Maybe the framing is already up before you put a contract on it. So hopefully the builder can give you some sort of a time frame of when that house is going to be done. With a dirt build, it's a little bit lengthier because you are going through the permitting process before we get to what is actually going to be on that lot and what's decided for that lot. 
Right now, our builder has told us that they would like the home to be done by the end of this year, by the end of 2022. And I am not as hopeful that that is going to happen. I'm a little bit more skeptical. I think it's going to be after the first of the year, May, January, maybe February. But my husband, he totally believes that the home is going to be done before the end of the year. We haven't placed a bet on it, like who's going to be right, if it's going to be him or me. But I don't know, I got to think about that because maybe we should bet each other. Since the builder has given us some sort of a time frame, but of course nothing is set in stone, not even in your contract of when the home is going to be done not in there. So since nothing is set in stone, we really have to time it correctly for when we are going to lock in our interest rate. And you can talk with your lender a little bit more thoroughly into a long-term rate lock and really what that means. Again, I'm a real estate agent and I like to stay in my lane of buying and selling houses and the lending is a different lane that I know a little bit about, but of course I am not your go-to when it comes to anything <laughs> lending. But lenders do have long-term rate locks. And what that is, is for a fee, they will lock in your rate based on whatever today's rates are, and they will hold that rate for you for a certain period of time. The thing with rate locks is when they expire, you either have to use the rate lock or they expire and you've lost your little bit of a deposit but you can also extend the rate lock. Lenders have different rules and how long they can extend the rate lock, but if you have to extend it, it's going to cost you more money out of pocket. So it's definitely something you need to weigh is if I do extend it 30 days, let's say, is that chunk of money going to be worth it because I'm saving on the interest rate because now interest rates have gone up. So it's definitely something that you that you absolutely have to weigh. I had a client that was under contract on a spec home and the builder gave us, they told us that they were 60 days out from the home being done. So she locked in her rate for a little bit, maybe it was like 65 days she locked in her rate, you know, something like that. Well, the home was delayed and it was delayed, I think another, I think another 35 days, 30 days, something like that. So it cost her more money to extend that rate lock. She was not happy about it. Believe, I mean, no, nobody was happy about it. Not even the builder, because again, the builder wants to finish the house so that they can get paid because the home is done. Finally, when all things were said and done and we were closing on the house, because she paid a little bit extra money to extend that rate lock, her rate was in the high 4%. By the time we got to the closing tables, interest rates just in general for people who hadn't locked in were over 5%. So no way would she have gotten a 4% interest rate by waiting that extra 30 days. No way. So it definitely is good that she did lock in her interest rate and it paid to extend it when she did because her interest rate was a lot lower than what other people were getting when they were closing around the same time. Now, rate locks can only last for so long. You could do 30 days, six month, nine month, and it's very rare, but I have found a company that will do a one year rate lock. If you lock your rate up to a year, like that is it. There, you cannot extend your rate lock after that year. It, I mean, it is done. It expires. If you haven't used the rate lock in that time, then you lost your deposit money. Ugh. So with us, we really have to be very careful about when we decide and when we do lock in our rate. We were told at um, our pre-construction meeting that they start framing the house when they are three weeks from getting our windows delivered because they don't want the frame to be there and then it just sits there and sits there and sits there and they have to put the windows up before they can get into any of the electrical, any of the plumbing, and then of course, any of the HVAC. Our builder told us that we are five weeks from getting our windows delivered, so our framing should be done by the time this video is published because right now it is just a beautiful piece of foundation. See that right there? 
all that pretty foundation. The two homes next to us have already been framed because they contracted before we did. <laughs> so it's like a framed house and then foundation and then a framed house. Eh, but eventually our house will be up just like theirs. So we have decided that we are going to lock in our interest rate and we're working with the preferred lender that the builder has given us to do that. They do a one year rate lock. I think right now we're going to do a nine month lock. My husband is thinking maybe we'll do a six, but we haven't totally decided that yet, but we're looking at, at maybe even, maybe if we do a six month lock, then we, then we can pay to extend it a little bit if we don't hit that six months. So the timing of your rate lock is very, very important. We're very confident that our builder is going to get the home built before a year is, is over. Absolutely, absolutely. Because we've seen other homes in our neighborhood go up very quickly and we, we know that that will be the case for our house as well. So right now we are working with the builder's preferred lender to get our rate lock in place and so then we know that that rate is locked and that's the highest that it will go because we know that rates are going to go up the rest of the year. They're just going to continuously slowly be going up so we want to lock it in at the lowest rate possible. If you are buying a new construction home whether it's a spec home or or um, a dirt build home I do want you to rely heavily on the builder to see if they can put a time frame in for when you can get into your house rely on your realtor and definitely rely on your lender so that you know when you should be locking in your rate and really doing the best that you can to time it so that you don't have to pay to extend it but also think about it just like with my previous client if you do have to extend it, if rates are still con estimated to go up for the rest of the year or past this year, and you've got a really great rate, then if you've got the funds, you know, it's probably worth it to pay to extend that rate. So that's where we are right now in our building process. Uh, definitely in, you know, maybe in a month or so, I will come back and I will tell you where we are in the build and show you some more pictures and some more progress of our house and hopefully come to you with, with good news and that things are still moving on as, um, as they should. Thank you guys for tuning in. If you have any questions about buying a new construction house or why having an agent with you in new construction is so important, my contact information is below. I would love to help you out any way that I can. All right, we will see you next week.